Hey everybody, um, welcome back to Rewriter's Workshop. Um, today we are going to be talking instead of about, instead of our, um, our introduction paragraph with our thesis statement, which you've been working on today, we're going to focus on the middle of our um, speech or um, letter. Uh, and we're going to try to beef up the middle by adding examples. So today I want to tell you that writers sometimes use an example or a story to bring to life what it is that they're trying to um, trying to say. So this is a story um, that's not in writing. I was watching TV and a movie came on about an oil spill in Florida. And at first I thought, oh, thank goodness I don't go to Florida and go on vacation. I don't have to worry about that. But is that true? Then I watched the movie and it showed this little teeny tiny little duck all covered in oil and its eyes were covered in oil and it kept blinking and trying to see and its feathers were all stuck together. It could hardly move because it was all mired in a glob of oil and I was so, ugh, it was terrible. So sad watching that one little duck that instead of feeling like Florida is a long way away, I decided I wanted to help. So that little duck helped me know that I, it helped me know about oil spills, but it also helped me understand that I can care about something that's far away and I can write about it. Um, so today, what I'm thinking is that you should read your, um, well, in that story about the oil spill, the examples can be um, sometimes vivid or visual, um, but they're always specific. So here an author shows this example from, from that oil spill. The beaches were empty, save for a strip of black ooze that accentuated the high tide line. Alongside the beach, the parking lot was a sea of hot pavement. The hot dog vendor had no customers. The cotton candy man sat beside his cart eating his own pink cone of cotton candy. He didn't care that the sticky stuff uh, stuck to his lips. No one would see him anyway. Wow, right? In the story the little, of the little duck, the cotton candy man eating his own cotton candy made the damage of the oil spill more real. The fact that that guy was sitting there eating his cotton candy all by himself. So the telling of the story helps the reader want to help. And that's what I'd like for you to do today. Here's an example. Um, so remember we were talking about how um, we can improve school and how the janitor should get a lot of recognition um, in order to keep our school clean? Well, here's a category. We talked about being organized. This is one of my categories. It's about walking past garbage. I've walked past garbage too. I feel really bad about that now. So right there, I'm telling the reader that I've walked past garbage, but now I need to show an example of this. So instead of just saying, I did it, I need to show an example. So, oops, for example, this one time I was running late for a grade meeting and was rushing down the stairs. I saw some pieces of paper on the stairs. It's terrible that people just drop garbage, I thought, as I walked past them and hurried to my meeting. Now I think about how I made the problem worse by not just picking up the garbage. Do you see how that example makes, I've walked past garbage too, I feel really bad about that now? Do you see how that makes that paragraph so much more powerful? It's not like people are mean or terrible. It's just it happens. But you need to be aware of it. Um, and that's what I tried to convey in this part of my writing. So I am telling and showing. So I tell here and show here. And today, so today, that's what I'd like for you to do. I'd like for you to reread what you wrote yesterday and find a place where you told the reader something important, and then 
in your mind, I want you to add an example. And then probably you should write it down. So you can work on gathering evidence today. You could also keep organizing your evidence into categories. So remembering that you always want to make sure that everything fits in the right spot. And you can look and see where did you just tell somebody important things so that you can add an example to back up your opinion. That's our work for today.